There has been lot said about India's spin problems after their 3-0 whitewash versus New Zealand in the recently concluded test series. While there is a certain section of fans and experts who believe that India have forgotten to play spin, there is also a certain section of experts who believe that the modern Indian batters aren't really equipped enough to handle spin across any conditions. Now let's just talk about former India cricketer Mohammad Kef. Well, he feels that India's series loss to the Kiwis is an embarrassing one, but at the very same time, he has made some controversial comments around the New Zealand spinners. Let's just have a look. Well, Kaf has had his say on Patel and Glenn Phillips. He said that I'm not going to lie, to lie about both the New Zealand spinners. India have spin bowlers of their quality at club level cricket. Now, as much as it is a dig at both the New Zealand spinners in Patel and Glenn Phillips, it's also a dig at the Indian batters who have done so well at the international level they, that they couldn't really handle the likes of both Patel and Phillips who aren't really those well-known commodities in the spin circuit across the international arena. Well, Kef also said his, uh, you know, bit about Ajaz Patel's performances in the Mumbai test. He said that he, Patel, did not really bowl well. If you see his pitch map, he delivered two full tosses, a couple of short balls and a couple of then deliveries, but still managed to take those wickets. And obviously, if you look at, you know, India's performances across both the Pune and the Mumbai test, the second and the third test respectively, most of the dismissals that were affected of the India batters weren't really primarily because of the brilliant del deliveries that the New Zealand spinners produced. But it was more about the fact that Indian batters weren't really at ease. They were in a lot of rush to get those runs to make sure that they put pressure on the New Zealand spinners. But that wasn't really the case because the waiting game or the holding on game wasn't really seen in any of the Indian batters apart from maybe the likes of Shubman Gill and Rishabh Pant and to an extent Yashasvi Jaiswal. Well, Kef also said a bit uh, something more about Ajaz Patel. He said that he can't even land the ball properly. Well, that's harsh to say the least because the man finished as New Zealand's leading wicket taker in the three test series. He finished with a total of 15 scalps. The defeat in Mumbai is embarrassing, obviously. There was no bowler in the New Zealand side in the Mumbai test. And I'm going to read that again out for you. There was no bowler in the New Zealand side in the Mumbai test. Well, as much as it is, you know, harsh uh, to put things into perspective, I think New Zealand have always been a very street smart team. And in case of New Zealand, what they've always done is that they've taken the best out of the resources that they've had, you know, at their helm. If we look at, you know, the last year's series against Bangladesh that they had in the away conditions, New Zealand did make a comeback and make sure that they drew level in the series. And it was primarily because of their spinners only that they were managed to hold on to Bangladesh. They were managed to get, a, get to a win in the Bangladesh conditions, something that has been a big problem with most of the visiting sides in the recent past. Uh, but Kef had his good things to say about, you know, Mitchell Santner here. He said that Santner did bowl well. Bowling he produced in the Pune test was a classic test performance. And obviously, you know, he had that angle bringing into the right-handers right who didn't really have answer to his spin deliveries. In case of Virat Kohli also, he was all around the place as far as, you know, Santner's deliveries are concerned. And that's where I think India, who could have shown some patience in the Pune test, well, that was never really to be the case. Well, India were completely outplayed, outclassed. To an extent, it does look like that New Zealand did produce a great show. They produce, produced a very calculative show, a disciplined performance to make sure that they won the series 3-0. But at the very same time, India also had their moments which they couldn't really cash in on. And at the very same time, if we look at you know India's performances in the three test series, well, there were you know those bits of flashes, those great performances, and not being able to chase 147 in the third test would hurt them and would also hurt their confidence and the chances for the all-important Border Gavaskar Trophy. Stay tuned to Sports Today for all the exciting updates and analysis from the sporting world.